Hey there, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Curtis Perry. I'm a musician, writer, and of course I take photos. Uh, I know uh, the setup is not the most impressive uh, in the world. There's not too, too much happening uh, behind me, but we'll work on that. You gotta start somewhere. Uh, but welcome, uh, and today I wanted to just talk a little bit about the X100V. So, um, you know, what's it been like using this for, for about a year now? And, you know, what's it like in, in this year of 2022? Uh, the V came out, of course, in 2020. And, uh, the, you know, this is the fifth, intera uh, fifth iteration, hence, you know, V5. Um, the first came out in uh, 2011, and it was really you know quite remarkable you know the, in the mirrorless uh, camera space and you know of course uh, the design uh, mimics, mimics those classic uh, you know 70s range finders uh, you know incredibly fun and you know that counts for something in my books um, and it's been been just a joy to use and I just wanted to talk about it you know what what is what has it been like to use it uh, for your uh, if you got your eye on it you're considering it what uh, what is it all about so I guess I'll tell you a few things that are, are kind of unique to this one uh, first would be first I want to talk about the leaf shutter actually uh, most cameras have a focal uh, plane shutter uh, and so this what makes a leaf different is that it's almost whisper quiet you know you don't have to use an electronic shutter uh, you know, as you're doing like a classical concert or something like this, uh, you know, it really lim eliminates that need. Um, and uh, it, it also allows for a much faster uh, flash sync speed. So if you're doing some kind of fill flash in, in, in broad daylight, uh, you can increase your shutter speed past 200 and it'll still sync with your flash no problem. Now, that sounds a little bit specialist, but you know, I, I think that's part of the point here. I, I think that this is a camera uh, that has a lot of different features all in sort of one little body. And you even have to think about it. You just put in your, you know, your, it can fit in your back pocket and, and you just go. You don't have to think about other, other things. Uh, so you've got that, uh, that, that sort of malleable flash capability. And then, uh, then you've got a built-in ND filter. So that's a neutral density filter. And what that does is it cuts the light by about four stops. You just press that front button there. And uh, so why would you want that? Why would you want less? Uh, why, would you, why would you want that? Um, well, let's say you are doing a landscape photo and you got some, some water. You want to capture the movement in the water for whatever reason. And um, yeah, yeah it's sort, of, sort of capture the look of it. And usually you need a separate sort of scroll and ND filter for that. No problem here, right? Uh, what else? It's weather sealed. So that's great for obvious reasons. Except it's not weather sealed and the lens and it's a little that's a little weird you know uh, I it's not so bad like I, I just got a little UV fil a filter here that you screw it on and it completes the weather sealing and it fits the original uh, lens cap as well so you know no problem but I kind of wish they had just you know actually made it completely weather sealed but uh, anyway um, I don't know what else got a tilty screen so uh, and this is new in this iteration, so great for you know waist level shooting. Uh, great if you're trying to get down low, right? It's just another thing that's handy to have, useful when you need it, and it hides away when you don't. It's uh, real flush uh, with with the camera there, so it's nice. Um, what else? Battery life is fine in my books. Uh, I've not had to change the battery on, on any given gig, you know, uh, or it, or any given day. But you know, my approach is I like to use the um, the viewfinder, and I like to uh, keep the camera off when not in use because it turns off and on real quick. So uh, I find that that approach works well for me. Uh, one other thing optical viewfinder that's also rather unique so there's a lot of unique things about this camera right and uh, 
the the optical viewfinder. It also keeps the uh, the, the, par the lines it corrects for the parallax when, when you focus. So that's kind of nice. Um, what else? So in terms of like placement in the market, it's really in a sweet spot in my in my opinion. Uh, if you're looking at you know sort of premium fixed focal length, compact, relatively compact. Uh, cameras, you've got this, you've got the, the Ryko GR3, uh, which, you know, if you're looking for more of a, I didn't mention it yet, so this is a, a 23 mil uh, at APS-C, which is equivalent to about 35 mil uh, full frame, max aperture of f2, uh, which is about 2.8 full frame in terms of uh, composition. Uh, so now that you have that, uh, the, the, the GR3 is pretty similar, I believe. Uh, you know, about, about 40 mil instead. They recently did an addition that brings it up to 40 mil, I think. Um, and then you've got the Leica Q2, which is sort of a, I would say it's a, it's a different class. You know, it's four times as expensive. Like if you know you want a Q2, you know who you are. Uh, that That's sort of a different story there. And even so, you know, um, like if you do, I, I think I believe that's in a, a full frame f 1.7, and uh, it's a bit wider. But when you know when you're focusing at an equivalent distance to the subject, you're going to get really similar looking uh, bouquet, in in my opinion. Uh, but you know there's a reason why the Leica is four times as much, and uh, you know that's probably not not for most people, right? But this, I think. You know, if you're if you're looking for, if you don't mind that fixed uh, lens, right, and that's really important, or maybe that's a feature for you because it'll stop you from buying other lenses, right? Uh, and if you're looking for, you know, something that's got all those sort of unique capabilities, the the ND filter, uh, I'd even mention it because I, I don't think it's worth mentioning. It ha it has a flash technically. Uh, if you use it twice, uh, it's you know get get an external flash. I would say. But anyway, ND, uh, the leaf shutter, the optical viewfinder, which is yeah, not necessarily going to take better photos, but it might help you in terms of composition in, in, in some cases. And, and again, there's something to be said for, you know, the tactility of this thing, the fun, you know, uh, I, I think that's, uh, that's underrated, right? And speaking of tactility, uh, you, you've got buttons and knobs for days here, right? So you've got, uh, you know, the the command dials are, are really nicely knurled. <laughs> um, that's worth saying, I think. Uh, it, you know, you've got your aperture ring, of course. You've got your manual focus ring, of course. Uh, you've got this really, really interesting sort of integrated um, shutter speed and ISO dial where you sort of pop off the top there a little bit. And that's, I find that super satisfying, uh, just personally speaking. Uh, and of course your, your exposure adjustment and you know, all your usual stuff. Now, uh, they did take away some of the back buttons in terms of the um, sort of the D-pad at the back. I know that's annoyed uh, some folks. Uh, personally, I'm not so bothered. I think the joystick at the back is fine. And um, yeah, in terms of grip, you know, it's, it's compact. It's not going to have the deepest grip in the world, um, but it, it works for me, especially with, you know, just the wrist strap and you keep it nice and loose on your hand, ready to go, and it's great. So, what else is there to say? Um, if you've ever, you know, seen any other review on the planet, you know, Fujifilm is not the best at uh, you know continuously like auto focusing systems. Again, that doesn't bother me, um, but you know you do you. Uh, it, you know it's fine. You know you, you use continuous focus, it'll work. It is just ultimately not up to speed with you know Sony and so on. Uh, but that is what it is. What you do get is the film simulations, and uh, that that means a lot to me. Uh, you know, classic Chrome uh, as, as a profile just super works for me. Really, you know, it, it's like a head start every single time uh, in your editing, and, and that's worth a lot to me. Yeah, can you, you know, replicate it with another camera? Yeah, maybe. But 
uh, I, I really enjoy the film simulations. It, it's not something you really get with any other manufacturer, really. Uh, so I, I think that's worth mentioning, especially if you if you at all care about you know having like as they say straight out of camera stuff. Uh, I always shoot raw and plus JPEG, and uh, in a pinch, if I need to get a JPEG out real, real fast, that's nice to have. And it's nice to know that it's going to look great. Um, holds up in low light. It does. Uh, as you'll see, I'm going to put up some photos, uh, some, some concerts, uh, you know, some street photography, some nature, stuff like that in just a minute. Uh, but, you know, really holds its own at those high ISOs. Uh, it has almost like a pleasing grain to it, actually. Uh, and and, and it, you can, you know, work with it real nice. And uh, I'll use Lightroom. I like to use Get into Capture One and see what that's all about because. Uh, I've heard that it, it handles uh, Fuji RAW files a little bit better, but, uh, but Lightroom seems to be working just fine for me. So uh, I think that's about it. That's my kind of rundown uh, with, with, with this camera. Uh, I hope you liked uh, this little review. Um, if you're in the market at all for anything like this, I highly, highly recommend it. But again, you, you got to got to be okay with the price. It's not a like it, but uh, not even close. But it's a little more than you might be um, thinking about or used to. And uh, I, I think it's going to last. You know, like I, I, have, a, I have a buddy who's uh, still using his X100, and it's great. And I expect to be using this for many, 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 excuse me, years to come. And I think it's a good time to jump on too, because the weather ceiling is new. Uh, it's a sharper lens this time. I didn't even mention that. Um, got the articulating screen that's new. It's it's really ticked off a lot of boxes with this generation, which you know, if you've watched any other review, uh, you'll, you'll probably have heard a similar kind of kind of story. So anyway. Um, I hope you liked this video. Uh, give me give me a thumb if you liked it. Give me a sub if you loved it. Uh, you want to tell, let me know what you want to see. Uh, let me know in the comments. And thanks so much for uh, for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. And so I'll close you out with some photos that I took over the past year.